Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Sensibly Cynical Podcast. My name is Sean. And before I go any further, before I introduce today's guest, this is episode 195. You'll hear that mentioned a few times today because episode 200 is not too far, obviously. Only five away. Um, It'll be in August, and if you want to... Be on the podcast, shout out the podcast, whatever, slide into my DMs ASAP and we'll figure we'll figure something out. If you want to send a video, I'm going to probably put the videos that I have already received. Uh, I'll probably end up just doing a montage or some shit. But anyways, I digress to today's guest, Victor of the My One Cent Podcast. This guy is hilarious. It's a great podcast. Check it out wherever you get them. We talk cigar culture and sports. Icons, you know, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Joe Burrow, the most, you know, when people think cigar and sports as of late, it's Joe Burrow, you know, winning the championship with the uh, LSU Tigers. And he almost won it with the Bengals. But uh, anyways... Here's my chat with Vic of the My One Cent Podcast. All right, joining me now he is the host of the My One Cent Podcast, Victor. What's going on, man? What's up, man? How's it going? How's it going, everybody? Yeah. Glad, to be, glad to be here. This is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Sensibly Cynical Podcast. You are here. That's sweet. That's dope. That's <laughs> dope. This is pretty cool. So, yeah, man. So, talk about your journey through podcasting, man. Um, it's uh, It's been interesting. It's been fun. Uh, funny thing about it is there's so many podcasts out there there's so much like everyone and their mothers is starting a podcast every every single day it's funny so it's it's tough because there's there's so many people doing it and you want to have that something different than everybody else does but it's right. tough. but you just got to be consistent and it's, I, I mean my journey has been up and down uh like i told you before before we got started i had another show before i changed the name i rebranded um okay. and uh i mean it's been cool i, I try to do different things I don't have anything specific that I stick to, but um, I try to, you know, touch on a lot of different things, whether it be funny, whether it be something serious, <laughs> pop culture, sports, mm. you know, whatever. Whatever entertains people, it's fine with me. As long as I'm in front of the mic, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Is there an episode that you would direct people to listen to if they haven't checked it out yet? Um, not specifically because I've, like I said, I've done so many different Types I've had, there's a bunch of them with a couple of my friends that we do strictly sports. So I might bore somebody when it comes to somebody who doesn't like sports. But then I go and I'll do some political stuff or, you know, with all the stuff that's been happening with the country the last couple of years and the right, pandemic sure. and the mass yeah. and all that, vaccine, non-vaccine, all that stuff. Um, so, I mean, I mean, I, I list them well. So if anyone who wants to just go and, you know, peruse them and see which one might tickle their fancy... Go ahead, and I hope you enjoy them. I really do. Yeah. I just I do it for the people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, exactly, so, exactly. I don't I don't do it to hear myself talk. So you know. <laughs> I hear you. No, I, hear I do you, love man. the sound of my own well, voice. This <laughs> is this for those listening. This is episode one ninety five. I am five away, Victor, from two hundred. From two hundred, nice, nice. This I I've am. Been, I've been podcasting 15. since November of two thousand seventeen. So I am I am cruising along, you know. Oh yeah, I mean I'm about 15 away from 100. So I've done more because of my other show, but I don't count that other one. This is the yeah. one I stuck to, and so I'm about 15 away from 100 mm-hmm. myself. So that's that's pretty so, cool. I'm kind of excited to get there. Yeah, man. So are you a? Let's get to our topic: cigars and sports. Are you a, are you a cigar aficionado, or are you just? Casual? I mean, uh, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't say that, that far. but. <laughs> Well, I because because I take it serious to the point of mm-hmm. like I'm I don't want to portray myself as somebody who knows a lot about cigars. Uh, right. I don't. I know what I like. I smoke them regularly. Mm-hmm. Um, I've really gotten into it. And my girl even bought me a book for Christmas, a cigar book, you know. so I can you know read upon the history of <laughs> and whatnot and a lot of things. So it's I've been you know I've been I've been getting into it, but I know what I like, and I know and I and I enjoy I enjoy them very. I quit smoking cigarettes four years ago, so it's kind of helped that right. help the transition a little bit. Yeah, so, yeah, I don't, I, mean, I don't smoke, I don't, I only smoke like cigars like occasionally, like super occasionally, and I like the ones where I can sit like for two hours and 
you know, yeah, sip, nice. a li- nice. sip, a, sip a little, sip a little you know. Yeah, 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 of course. You can't like have one church, without the other, that's for sure. Like the, like the Churchill, you know, and, uh, you know, and stuff like I that. Am, you know uh, my, I am, my, yeah, my go-to is uh, Oliva, the Oliva brand. That's that's my yeah. favorite. But, yeah, uh, but I try to, yeah, they're really good. They have a, a bunch of different kinds that are, they're top, they're top notch, as far as I'm concerned. I just actually looked it up today. They're the top four selling cigar in the world right now. So wow, they're, they're doing something right, you know. Yeah, but I've so, tried a bunch of different ones. Yeah, so where and are I you, smoke. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Where are you? Where are you from? Miami. Like where I am you, currently I, born and raised Miami, Florida. Nice. I am born and raised in Orlando. I'm not there now, but I've been to Miami a few times. I'm a Florida. So we got two Florida boys. I love it. Florida boys, yep. I don't interview yep. many Floridians. I don't interview many Floridians. What? Oh, man. I mean, you got to. It's all, everything occasionally, happens here. Occasionally. But I'm in the panhandle, and usually it's Pensacola people or, I, you know, okay. New York or, you know, because contrary to belief, to belief, Victor, there's not a lot of podcasters in Pensacola, Florida. I, yeah, so. I mean, <laughs> nowadays I would I wouldn't be shocked if there were, but I'm sure that there ain't as many as people want to believe. That's for sure. That's I, for I, sure. I you mean, never know. Somebody who's in their basement, you know, popping off. <laughs> shit. Who knows? Well, this is my base. No, I'm just kidding. It's not my basement. It's my. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually my, in my uh, dining room. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man. So I'd tell the kids to hide and shit. So talk about like your fandom with sports. Like, do you have a favorite team? Oh yeah, I'm. I'm a. I mean, sports is part of my everyday thing it's like it's i mean like i said if you go through my list of my shows you'll mm-hmm. tend to find that maybe probably 80 percent sports so uh, mm-hmm. but yeah i'm a miami dolphins fan diehard born i was born oh, yeah. a dolphins fan my mother was going to the games when she was pregnant with me so it's like i was just born to be a miami dolphins fan it's, i have yeah, some tickets a... <laughs> and so ja- it's a, it's a thing a... Yeah, oh a... no no i said i'm a jack i'm a jacks fan Oh my god, I thought you were gonna say Jets fan. I didn't even give you a chance. When you started saying the J, I'm like, no, please, please don't ruin the interview yet. No, well, there's, there's too many. There's too, yeah, there's, uh, there's only a few options with J, so I don't blame you. Yeah, you scared me for a second. That's how many fine. Options, I won't judge you, but how many, how many teams are with a J? Is it just those two? The Jaguars, the Jets. The Jets. Is that it? I think that's I think so that's it in the had, NFL. So yeah, it was a fifty fifty. It was a fifty fifty presumption. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't blame you. You know. It there's just not many. There's not many. There's not many Jack fans in the world, so I get I get my balls busted all the time. Um, it's funny. <laughs> it's a funny story actually, because uh, you were talking. I had just looked through some pictures the other day. And I went to a. We went to a Jacksonville game. Boof, when Ricky Williams. I don't know if you remember Ricky Williams. Yeah, and he was a running back for the Miami I'm Dolphins. A, I'm a bi- yeah, man, Ricky Williams. Well, I come went, on, man. Yeah, I went. We went to Jacksonville when you guys were just. I think you're just starting out as a franchise. We went yeah. out there for the game. And we won our game, but we took I took a picture with some friends, and in the background we didn't see it till we got our photos because it wasn't like now where you can take pictures on your phone you can see it instantly. We had to get them developed and all that. You know, bullshit. you know. And when we're yeah. looking at the picture, if I can if I can grab if I can find it, I'll show it. There's a dude <laughs> in the background wearing a Jacksonville jersey, and he's sticking the middle finger at us, and it's clear as day. He's just there, like. <laughs> and I'm like, look at this guy. We didn't see it till we got the photos from the from the Photoshop. From the but it was hilarious. That was awesome. Yeah. That was a great trip. We yeah. had we had a blast out there with the Jacksonville fans. They're really good. Yeah, it was man. a fun time. Yeah, we're underrated. The ja- not the team, but the fans are underrated. The fans yeah. are underrated. I'll not give that the team. to you. The I'll team's not underrated. The team is probably no. They're rated. properly rated. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah, they might be overrated. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's good. That's but good the- stuff right there. <laughs> they're, the fans. Okay, so are where are you now? Uh, you said I'm you're in the Panhandle, or well, yeah, I have a long. I it's not about me, Victor. This is about you. We don't need. We, no, no, I know, I know. But you're, my the listeners, time, the time my frame. listeners, listen, the listeners listen to me every week. They, they don't care about me. They well, know I was I'm curious a fan of, your time. They the know time, I'm a your time zone. That's why. Of the, yeah, they know I'm the fan of a loser team. They, they all know all that. Nah, but it's all right. As long as you stay loyal, you gotta stay loyal. <laughs> gotta stick. Gotta can't can bandwagon. No bandwagoning. <laughs> no, I'm a fan of the Jags. You gotta stick it. I've been a I've been a Jack fan since I was eight years old, so oh, I shit. am. That's cool. Wow. I'm thirty. I'm thirty five. So I've had a lot of losing. I even the over thirty six. But we were this close from going to the Super Bowl in two thousand seventeen. Yes, you were. Yes, you this were. This close. I was. I, I I saw you guys doing it, and damn man, I was like, I was very disappointed. <laughs> I really wanted to see you guys go. 
I, I thought was it was so, cool to see you guys. I was it drunk at the bar and I was just sulking in my misery <laughs> for that whole night, bro. I got shit faced. And then, <laughs> and then next year back to reality. God damn. <laughs> well, I knew like everyone this. was. I knew everyone was leaving. It was just a one hit wonder. But that uh, sucks. I hate. I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens to teams. Yeah, you don't give yeah, the well, fans something to build on, you know. So that's that's not. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, let's talk about cigar culture and sports. What's your thoughts on all that? Because as I was saying in the preview, in like the post for this, now it wasn't commonplace, I don't think, in the 90s. Maybe it was, but now they have boxes in the locker room as they're setting up after the championship. They have boxes. They also have the mask. Correct. And uh, that's someone's job is to get that all set up. To set that up, okay. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your thoughts on this? I mean, obviously, it goes back Gretzky, Jordan, Brett Auerbach. It goes on and on and on. I was just going to say your, Arbach, actually. That's the first thought I had. Yeah, but what's your thoughts on it? I feel like it's coming back. Like, the the not the cigar itself, but the the uh, consistency is there. Correct. It used, to be, hit or, you, it used to be hit or miss, but now it's every year. What's your thoughts on all that? Um... I was actually thinking about it yesterday when we mentioned what we were going to talk about. And I was like, I thought about Red Arbach. I was trying to figure out where I think it might have started, the whole cigar as a celebration thing. Because I know Red Arbach was a cigar smoker regularly. But I don't know if he would, I don't know if he started it, the whole celebration, you know, trophy championship cigar celebration. Yeah. But, yeah, and, and I, will, I wonder, though, they, I don't think they're the greatest, they're, I don't think they're the greatest quality cigars. I don't think they're going to waste the good stuff in those locker rooms, all that champagne going off, everything just getting wet except, everywhere. Except if the Dolphins, if, except for the Dolphins, they would light it up if the Dolphins would. They, they better, because they haven't done anything in so many years. <laughs> we better light it up. Um, but, yeah, it's definitely, like, every every celebration you see now, look, Joe Burrow last year. Was yeah. it last year or the year, I think it was LSU or whatever, he had this picture of him with a cigar. It was, like, this whole mm-hmm. classic thing and it was it was a really cool picture i thought and jordan jordan's huge in cigar like mm-hmm. he is a huge now that's a cigar aficionado right there that's a guy who knows <laughs> the cigars i just saw yeah, a clip uh, recently of him in an interview with this uh famous cigar guy and he was telling him that you're smoking a pre-castro 60 year old cuban cigar and the guy was yeah. telling him that it's his favorite cigar ever and jordan it was, he said he loved it it was great, it was great. i was jealous because i'm like well, man, pre-castro Mm-hmm. Cigar, that's that's uh, now that's Cuban because they don't make Cuban you cigars see, anymore like that. Famous athletes, Michael Jordan, we talked about. You think he's the you think he's the goat? I, th- I mean, if you're asking me like basketball as <laughs> athlete, well, yeah, he's the best. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> when you go six for six, you're the best. Plain and we got LeBron James, of course, yeah. him and him and cigars. Red Auerbach and Babe Ruth. It goes way back. But, yeah, then, Babe you Ruth know? was definitely a guy for sure. <laughs> I don't know if the yeah. quality of cigars were what they were back then, but definitely uh, he was definitely one of those guys who uh, lit up uh, regularly. I, like, like. I can't get a cigar from a place that doesn't have like a humidor, right? You know what I mean? Some somewhere to let the cigars breathe and stuff. Correct. I I have to get one from a humidor. Is that you as well? Yeah, I can't just like walk into a random <laughs> store. Like I got, I got gas stations down here that sell cigars in there. Well, they, they a lot of them like, do. A lot of them do like, cigarillo. Nope. A lot of them do cigarillos, right? Yeah, no, I don't. I, I go to no, a cigar store here. Yeah, yeah, the little black, ones, the little like ones. the black and milds or the um, correct, 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 or the game blues. You know what? But I go to a in? cigar shop for mine. For my but you know the, one of those. You know what game is, right? There's little yes, two. Yes, it comes yeah, in. It comes in correct. twos. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen them. I got that. I got a couple of the guys at my job that's either smoking a black or smoking one of those. Uh, one but of those I, I'll, I'll occasionally smoke one of those at work or something because these guys are smoking in my face. I'm like, hey, getting me in the mood and shit. So yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Peer pressure. I, Fight yeah, it, bro. It's, it's, no, Fight. it's tough sometimes, man. <laughs> it's the, the the it's the game is tough, huh? <laughs> it is tough sometimes, bro. But I yeah, I go and uh, I definitely go to a cigar shop for my cigars. I don't. I need I need it. Like I need to, I need to are, get it from a humidor, like you said, from a humidor. <laughs> Cigar and sports, that's a common um, thing nowadays, you yeah, know, yeah, and definitely. that's actually a name of a name of a podcast. But um, oh, I have to check that out. I didn't know that. What's your favorite like moment? Like besides the ones we talked about, would be Joe Burrow, like your favorite celebration? Like what's your favorite sports celebration involving a cigar? Is it Joe Burrow? I mean, yeah, I mean, that one was in, probably like, the best one because it was yeah. real classy looking like it was it was just he was a young he's a young guy. And you don't see these young guys enjoying a cigar the way he just looked like an like an old soul yeah. just sitting there with a cigar and he looked like he was enjoying it. And yeah. so 
That and, like I said, Jordan, because I like the guys who I know smoke cigars and enjoy cigars. Yeah. It's not just some dude who's in a, you know, he's celebrating with his boys. In the yeah, like, look at this. Exactly. He was chilling. <laughs> like, he was enjoying it. He knew what he was smoking. Yeah. He knew how to smoke it. Yeah. That's another thing. Look like you know what you're doing because <laughs> it's, it's all part of the whole routine. But you got to look like you know what you're doing. You got to hold it right. Yeah, 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 right, yeah. You know what I mean? All yes. right, for those that are listening to the audio version, I have pulled up the picture of Joe Burrow win- after winning the college National football championship, championship yeah. with LSU. My man has the has the classic, you know, old person sit style. Yeah, old soul, like I said. He's like an old soul <laughs> just there enjoying that. I used to hey. do that shit at the clubs too, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a cigar place around here that I like to go to occasionally. I found one recently in Fort Lauderdale Beach. If you ever come down here to Fort Lauderdale Beach, there is a cigar hey, bar. Hey, man, there. if that I ever come down to Miami, we got to link standing. up. You know what I mean? We got to link up. Oh, you up, let me you know, know, man. Let me know. <laughs> I'll, take you, I'll take you right Most to this of, place, bro. You'll love it. It's well, great. You'll love this this place. It's right on the beach. It's oh, perfect. here we go. Oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> See, when, you, when I think about cigars and sports, he's the first person that comes to my mind, honestly. Because he's yeah, because he he's always since he came since he day one, always had a cigar, always been smoking. Well, look at the cigar. Well, he's got his own shoe that has the cigar color. Yeah, I saw that. that. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you know. Yeah, he's big. And he's huge. Five hundred a box. Five hundred a box, Vic. That's crazy. And there's more. There's <laughs> there's some that are more expensive than that. So, I'm sure. But I mean, he get. I remember. Could you could you sport this shoe? See, I'm not a big shoe guy, honestly. Uh, I like my Nikes no. black, and that's it. And that's it. It goes with everything, matches everything. And like I've, never, I've never spent $100 on a pair of sneakers in my life either. So, oh, my God, three fifty nine. Oh, no <laughs> Won't do like it. This? Those are nice. I mean, they're Jordans. I, you know, I've never owned a pair of Jordans in my life. And I'm <laughs> no? 44 years old, and I've never owned a pair of Jordans. Yep. Oh, my Same God. Same full admission, folks. Here on the sit, <laughs> here on sensibly cynical, Victor has never owned a pair of Jordans in his life. <laughs> oh my God! From Miami, exactly. Uh, you know, hey, exactly. Well, the fashion too, down here. So you know, I'm I'm with you. I'm not a big shoe guy. I was um I'm a I'm also a Magic fan. So I remember Penny Hardaway, and I used to have I used to have a pair of pennies. Little Penny, I love little Penny. I used to have hilarious. um I used to have the T Max Tracy McGrady's. Those were good. fire, man. Those the shoes were nice, but I just. I don't know. I can never see myself spending that kind of money on a pair. Especially me. I get them dirty quick, and it's like, yeah, it's not worth it. I don't buy expensive shoes. Too? Yeah, I mean, I really have let go of basketball a lot the last couple of years, college and, and uh, NBA. I don't know why. I used to love the NBA. I used to watch the draft, the everything. I was, like, hooked. And I don't know. I don't know why. You know, I never went to one game while LeBron played for the Heat down here. Not one game. Oh, my God. Never saw him play ever. Not one? Not one game. I don't know. I'm. I don't know. Basketball has lost. I don't know. You may regret me. that. You may regret that. As the nah, goes I'm on. not a fan. I'm not a Braun fan. I'm not a James fan. So it really didn't oh, make no. it. I, as long as we yeah. won, I was fine. But yeah, I, I'm not. A big I heard fan that when I said LeBron James. I I heard that. Eh. <laughs> oh yeah, so you caught that? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm a podcast host, man. You can't. Hey, you got a like castle. That. Yeah, good. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I like it. When you've been when you've been doing almost two hundred episodes, you, you start to pick to, these things up, huh? You catch it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not um, trying to be cocky or nothing, but I can do no, man. In, like I can do an interview like just like people. When people are like, "What are we going to talk about?" I'm like, "Let me." Like, if I would have first, if like if when I first started, oh man, I had notes and shit. But now, but now, <laughs> I have them right next to me. I write well, down everything. Hold on, hold on. You got notes for this podcast? No, but I what I do is I I write down stuff for like a hashtag, stuff that you know, I, topics that I talk about. I start writing down so I. But you got to eat for this. Do you got to? No, for no, tonight? no. I didn't. I didn't. Oh. I, everything was up here. Everything was up here. <laughs> I did a little research, but but I was like, I'm like that too. I take notes and I I, I put stuff on paper so I can talk about it. But sometimes yeah. it just you just gotta go with the flow, man. You just gotta go with the flow. Well, let's go with. My, I tell my, I tell my girl that all the time that uh, sometimes it just like I call the rabbit hole. I just fall down the rabbit hole, and it, forget the notes. It just goes wherever it goes. Sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> that's pod, podcasting is like free flow. People might try to mm-hmm. micromanage it too much. Too much, and that's where I get stuck sometimes. I'm like, oh, there's the Robesto, the oh. big fat ones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Gretzky. Yep, that's another guy. He has the he has the small. You know what I mean? Like that is the, a big cigar. Yeah, but it's that shit's yeah. intense, man. That's huge. I had one like that a couple of weeks ago. I bought a pack 
a three pack of yeah. three different Nicaraguans from this new cigar place that I found. And dude, the thing was, it was like an eighty gauge or sixty gauge. I don't know what they're called. It was like huge, <laughs> man. It was, I mean, I, I was afraid to put it in my mouth, man. I was like, I don't know if I want this big old thing in my. Like, that sounds bad. But yeah, I didn't man, want that. That's, that's, we have people that are in the audio version, okay? Hey, let's, let's be careful with. <laughs> People can twist. To... People can yeah, twist. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Walked into that one there, but you know? somebody comes at me with something there. <laughs> some, yeah. side, some sideways, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Well, yeah, this is cool. Uh, you got, um, what's your personal, like, favorite um, moment in sports? Like, do you got a mo- I know you're a yes, Dolphins actually, fan. Actually, no, so I do have. It, I do have a favorite it? moment. I can tell you right now. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing. 1997. <laughs> World Series, Florida Marlins. I was at Game 7 with my father. First baseball game I ever went to with my father. And it was a wow. World Series Game 7 where we won in the 11th inning. And I'll never forget that ever in my life. I've forgotten plenty of things in my life, but I'll never forget that day. I remember, too, because it was a uh, 7th inning. I'd gone to get ice cream. And Bobby Bonilla, who I don't know how he's still getting paid by the Mets, but that guy's smart. Oh, um, is he? Yeah, he still gets a million dollars every year from the Mets. It's crazy. It's insane. I don't know for how much. I think it's like another 10 years he's got left to pay. It's crazy. Really? He hits a home run to take the lead or tie the game. I don't remember. And I would hit me. It hit right in my section. And then I didn't move the rest of the game because I didn't want to miss anything. And thank God I didn't because we won in the 11th inning. And it was it was just insane. I've never And I've been there for Dolphin games, and I've seen that place get crazy. Well, that was but before I, Miguel Cabrera. That was correct, like Gary yes. Sheffield. That was Gary Sheffield. That was Gary Sheffield, Renteria, Beckett, <laughs> all those guys. All those guys. Yes, that Gary was a Sheffield hell of, was my guy. Was my guy. I love that guy. I met him. I met him personally. I love that. that when he, when yeah, he when he would do that. Yeah. I met him in the <laughs> beach uh, one time. Um, real cool dude. He hung out with us. He had a drink with us. Oh, Very yeah? Quiet. You met, yeah, Gary, yeah, you met yeah. Gary Sheffield? He was walking no the beach shit. with his family, uh, his cousin, and another uh, Marlin that was playing with at the time, uh, Daryl Whitmore. Probably maybe Yeah, Whitmore, Sheffield was him. underrated. He was underrated. But he had a big bat. That boy could swing <laughs> that bat. That boy, that, like you said, that swing of his, yeah. he had a, such a fast swing that because of the way he kept twitching his wrist, how he was able to bring that bat around, I don't know how, mm. but that was, that was insane. But yeah, he was cool, dude, yeah. though, really cool guy. He had a, like I said, he had a drink with us. We hung out for a few minutes. Mm-hmm. And he, I'm not a big star believer. Like, I see famous people. I, don't, oh, I, don't go. I had Jeter walk by me like two years ago down here in Miami. He walked right past me. I, wow. didn't, say a word, I didn't say a word to him. I could have said, hey. And he, like, he was my favorite Yankee for years. And yeah. I didn't say a word to him. Because you know what? I don't like bothering people, man. It's just, you know, That's just wild, another guy. Man. You know, he's just another guy, bro, like everybody else. Hey, so. puts on the pants the same way. Exactly, bro. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not going to go crazy. I mean, if he would have acknowledged me, it would have been cool to meet Derek Jeter. But I'm not going to be like, oh, my God, Jeter. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, I was, I'm too old for that shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, what about you? Let me ask you. What's your favorite sports moment? I mean, I know it's me, your show, but I mean, hey, we, I can ask you some <laughs> stuff. I'm a podcast host, too. <laughs> I mean, like, are we talking about, like, all time? I'm also a Cubs, yeah. a, I'm also a Cubs fan, so when the Cubs win the World <sighs> Series... Man, you must hate me then as a Marlins fan. <laughs> yeah. So when the Cubs won the World Series a couple – like more than a couple years ago, but it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a minute. But that no, was a Cubs hell of a run, though. Cubs and Marlins don't really have too much. Yeah, but yeah, but we had – you forget the uh, – what was that guy's name? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bartman. Mike Bartman, yeah. That was us. <laughs> that, that was the that Marlins, was, yeah. That was the Marlins, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I'm also – I'm also kind of a Marlins fan, too. I went to Marlins games. So I have a soft okay. spot for the Marlins. I have a soft spot for the Marlins. Cool. So they need, need all the help they can get. All I've the fans they can get because Marlin- nobody's a fan. <laughs> yeah, I went to a few Marlins games. We did. Have you been to the new there. stadium? So you've been to the no. new uh, – Oh, no, it's no, really no. nice. I went I to Marlin it. games in the uh, late 90s. Oh, so you were when they were still playing at Pro Player in Jarabi and all that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, but they definitely yeah. – I would definitely recommend – if you're down here, go to a game here because the new stadium is mm. – it's not that new anymore, but it's still beautiful. It's still a great place to go. It's still a great experience. For but I wasn't game. there, but my number – I haven't really been to any, like, championship games, but I do remember seeing uh, Larry Bird on his uh, – play the Magic. I saw Shaq versus Larry Bird. Okay, okay. Shaq's, Shaq's – people don't realize that Shaq, Shaq's first year was Larry Bird's last year. They oh, played I, each I other. That yeah, they played know. each other. They played each other for like one season. I didn't. I, I don't remember what year. Uh, and I and I went to that game with my mom, 
And my That's mom cool. told me, my mom told me, she's like, Sean, you, you won't, you won't forget this. Cause she knew Shaq was going to be a, you know, legend. I mean, how can that, you not? That guy was huge. <laughs> that guy was she's a like, monster, Sean, bro. She's like, Sean, you won't, you won't forget this. And I'm like, all right, mom. So, yeah, so that's probably number one, my favorite moment I've been to, you know. I went to some, um, you know, lightning games, hockey. That's pretty fun. And hockey, stuff, I like going to the hockey games. Hockey games are fun. I, I like them. And you I've don't been, sweat because it's nice and cool in there. <laughs> you know, I've been to a few, you know, college football games, Gators, Notre Dame, Cubs. Typical stuff, you know. Hey, go Gators. Hey, my brother was in the, my brother was in the band when Tebow played. Oh, oh, that's a lucky man right there to get to he watch was that in the, game. So I got a funny story about this, and we'll close up shop here. We'll promote okay. you away and all that. But uh, cool. no, so uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to, you know, throw the band director under the bus. But <laughs> oh. <laughs> he he's would probably not out, there anymore. <laughs> he would hand out like hunch punch and stuff, you know. Oh, nice. <laughs> I, I, that guy, that's like, the kind of guy we need around here. Like Kool Aid and. Some other some other beverage. <laughs> they That's put cool. they funny. put like they put like not moonshine but some serious stuff with like with Kool Aid. I mean, I mean, they're in Gainesville. I don't doubt that that stuff is getting spiked real nice over there. <laughs> I've been there. I've been to Gainesville for the Gator Growl, and I man, I don't remember most of the weekend that I. It was crazy. It was a crazy yeah. weekend over there. Yeah, party the party life over there in Gainesville. These kids, man, they have they have they have mm-hmm. a good life over there. That's, I wish yeah. I can go back to college. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I know, fun. right? That's crazy. Uh, what keeps you going pod- podcasting wise and um what do you see the future? Kind of a combo question, I guess. <laughs> um I almost give up. I almost gave up like a couple months ago, honestly. I almost stopped doing it. Uh because I wasn't being consistent, because I feel like consistency is the number one thing that you need for this. You have to be consistent. People your your audience needs to know you're gonna be there every week where they expect you to be and when your episode's gonna drop and all that. And if not, they're gonna find somebody else to listen to. So Consistency is my biggest thing, and I haven't been that. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm hoping to get back on the wagon again regularly. And um, I don't. I mean, it's tough. It's tough to decide to know where I'm going to go with this because, like I said, there's so many people doing it. But you, me, there's a thousand <laughs> podcasts. You know, just yeah. I can flick my wrist right now on my phone, and I'll find you a thousand podcasts to listen to. So it's, it's you know, it's just about continuing consistency and just keeping them entertained, finding stuff to talk about that people want to listen to. And hopefully I can do that and uh, and I can keep doing this for a while. I mean, what I like to monetize is, yeah, of course, why not? Why wouldn't someone like, I mean, I wish I could do this every day. On my, I can sit in front mm-hmm. of this microphone every day because that's what I, I love to do. It. I love, I love this. I really do. I love so, doing it. What, so what kind of stuff do you talk about lately? Like what have you, what's been some good topics? Um, well, like I said, a lot of with the pandemic and everything, with everything that's been going on with the country, and yeah, I started to try to about news and stuff. I've been trying to switch over to that, but make it more a little lighter sense. Maybe make fun of some certain things, joke about certain things, things we can't. There's things you can't joke about, so I try to just have a a little levity in the situation to not. I don't want everything to be so serious when I talk because I I make fun of stuff. And remember, I do this alone, so I'm I'm entertaining you. Plus, I'm trying to keep myself sane too, you know. Yeah. So yeah, you, it's don't like, want, you don't want you don't want this shit to get too crazy. Exactly. So, um, my last episode that I did on a whim, which mm-hmm. was a uh, last week, I did it was a Friday. I brought a six pack home. Uh, the kids were gone. My girl was gone. I was home alone. I was like, you know what, man? I put my laptop on the kitchen counter, put them hooked up the mic, and I just started. And I went and I started talking about these stories. I don't know if you've seen this. It's uh, it's kind of stupid, but it was a, a a lady who was bitching at her baby daddy for bringing her his son McDonald's, but the girl has other, three other kids, and she bitched at him because she didn't bring the other kids' food. And I'm like, you're crazy, lady. Like, it, it was the whole thing. It went viral and everything, and, you know, the, it was – so I just, you know, I don't know. I had that in my head, and I was like, you know what? And then I got into a few other things, you know, Biden stuff and – some of the stuff about the country and stuff. And I even said it in the pie. I go, I don't want to get too crazy with this. I'm going to move on to something else because I felt like I was starting to go into a rant about it. And I didn't want to do that for my mm-hmm. first episode back after like a month and a half that I hadn't posted anything. Mm-hmm. But that was my last episode. And before that, I think I did a full sports episode. It was the, uh, I think it had something to do with the drafts and the Dolphins. I'm trying to remember exactly, but <laughs> I right. know it was Dolphin related. That's for sure. Victor, if it's okay with you, I'm going to um, play an advertisement. And we're going to get a new link and we're going to, cause we're running out of time on this link. So are you okay with that? 
Let me yeah, it's fine. Right huh? back and yeah. we'll conclude the episode with Not a problem. of the My One Cent Podcast right after this. Cool. Hello, y'all. Sean here, the host of the podcast you are listening to, Sensibly Cynical. Just here to remind you, episode 200 is on the way next month. This is episode 195. But if you want to, you know, say congratulations or just send a message to the podcast um, about anything you want, really, um, it will be played during, well, probably at the end of the episode, but we'll see. We'll see how that works. But anyways, if you want to send a message, you can DM me on, you know, Twitter, Cynical Sensibly, Instagram, Sensibly Cynical Pod. And you can email email me, sensibly cynical podcast at gmail.com. Now back to my episode with Vic of the My One Cent Podcast. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, on the Sensibly Cynical Podcast with my guy Victor from the My One Cent Podcast. First, also, before we close up shop here, how'd you get the name of the podcast? Um... My original name was Agree to Disagree. <clears throat> oh, Jack's Cup. See, that's what I like to see, man. I like to see loyalty, man. <laughs> yeah, Jack, man. You're, you're I got your Jack's Cup. That's what I was I saying. Got Jack, <laughs> I got Jack's Cup. I got Jack's shit everywhere. That's anyways, awesome, dude. I love it. So, um, <laughs> yeah. my original name was Agree to Disagree. Problem with that one was I couldn't bring anybody. I couldn't get anybody on to agree or disagree with me. So I didn't think it was a good show <laughs> name for a one-person show. Mm-hmm. And one day I'm just sitting there and somebody had mentioned, oh, these are my two cents. And I'm like, mm-hmm. hmm, I do this by myself. I'm the only one giving an opinion. My mm-hmm. one cent. It just, it just, this was like a click. And I was like, boom, there it is. That's what it is. That's the new name right there. And I had the not logo my, designed professionally. Not, so. my, not my 50 cent. No, my not one 50 cent. cent. My, my <laughs> one cent. I thought it was real. I thought it was catchy. And that's the thing. I think that that's something that you need to. Like, I like your name. Your name is catchy, too. Sensibly cynical. It's, it's like, if you get, try to say that fast five times, you're going to get started. Oh, I know. People, times, people, but... fuck it, people fuck it up a lot. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. It was just, you know, I heard something, something clicked, and it was just boom. That's it. And, I, and I, never, I don't plan on changing it ever. I think that's yeah. too good of a name to, to mess with. I, I hear you, I like man. It. You got any... Um... You got any good uh, stories about an episode or something that you thought was really funny that you want to share? Recording? I mean, I've had some some good times with some of the, when I bring get when I bring my boys on because I haven't I haven't brought anybody outside of someone I know on the show. Yeah. So everybody mm-hmm. I bring on, I can talk shit to and make fun of. Mm-hmm. Or, or, and I've had some I've had some back and forth with one of my buddies. And people have even asked like some of my friends that do listen. They're like, dude, you gotta you gotta make that a thing. And I'm like, dude, yeah. no, it's too, it's too annoying. It's like a, it's like an argument with the guy, and it's funny because we, we're two friends just talking shit to each other, right? But it's like people got, people got to get annoyed by that shit listening to it. And some people have said, dude, you <laughs> yeah. got to cut that out. Some people are like, you need to make it a segment. So pretty yeah. much, I think that's like the most exciting thing because I go at it with him really hard, and mm. uh, to the point where we, we, we get off the thing. I call him on the phone and I keep riffing at him and talking shit to him. <laughs> he's just off, right? So you us. talk. So you continue to talk shit off air. That's awesome. Sometimes, yeah, because it. it annoys the <laughs> shit out of me, and I call him right out. I'm like, "You're a piece of shit, bro. Don't be, don't be dead doing that, man. It's crazy." But you know, uh, how? Yeah, it's like how come I didn't fuck up the episode? You did. <laughs> you know, yeah. But no, not to hear him. He's like, "No, that was you. You're the host. You're the one that's supposed to take control." I'm like, "How can I take control of you? You're uncontrollable, fool." But it, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> It's entertaining, but some people, I know some people have been annoyed. Yeah, but if you too, can't bust so. balls with your friends, who can you bust balls with, you know? <laughs> exactly. And I, I don't know, me personally, I enjoy listening. Like, um, one of my favorite podcasts is Smartless. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's I with, have. Uh, I've, I've heard of it. I times. love that. I, I, they're, those three guys, they just go at each other, and it's just hilarious. Jason just, Bateman, he's Bateman, classic, man. Um, Jason Bateman, Will Forte, not Will Forte, I was confused. Will, Jason uh, Bateman has some classic uh, movies and stuff. Oh, movies, shows, I mean, he's been acting since he was a kid, so <laughs> that guy, and he does everything. He can yeah. do it all. And mm-hmm. uh, who's the other guy? Sean, the, I forget his last name. From I don't the, know, but yeah, I know, show. I know what you're talking about, yeah. It's a great, uh, it's a great podcast, they're funny, yeah. they bring good guests mm-hmm. on, but the point of it was that they go at each other, and it's funny. Mm-hmm. It's hilarious. So mm-hmm. I can see the humor. I can see the entertainment in it, value, but I'm not them. They're comedians. I'm not anything close to that. So ours is no, mostly just is... talking shit, but it's really, it's really funny. It can be really entertaining. 
if yeah. you know you do it right and not over go overboard like mm-hmm. i have with him it's just crazy yeah well victor this has been awesome thank you again for coming on the podcast tonight i hope i didn't fuck it up too much man no just, you did never been on another one show some, so we got some good we got some good moments that cool, i'm man. gonna pull and stuff like that <laughs> so cool, cool, cool. Um, i gotta do it again next time maybe you'll yeah. come on mine and i can yeah be the host and ask you stuff a bunch of stuff <laughs> That'll be cool. Uh, this was awesome, man. I really do appreciate you bringing me on, man. This is really cool. Yeah, yeah. No, no problem, man. So, where can people find the podcast? Um, I am on Google and uh, iTunes, and I, I mostly just promote Google and iTunes. Uh, also, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter, the Mamosin Podcast. Very easy, mm-hmm. not difficult to find. So, Remember, and one my the, one set with a one. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna. <laughs> you read my mind. I read your mind because I say it on my <laughs> show sometimes. I go, people with a one, not the one, not O and E. You read my mind. Yeah, yeah on it was that. perfect. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've had to. I've had to do it. People tell me, hey, is it? I can't find your show, and I'm like, why well, you putting one? It's or the number spelling one. one. I'm spelling one. one. I go, no, you got to put the number one. I go. I tell them you got to put number one because I'm number one in your hearts. So let's go. So I'll never forget that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Instagram, yeah. Twitter, and uh, Bible Podcast at gmail.com if anybody wants to hit me up with any emails regarding the show. Or any oh, I'll have to follow you on. I'll have to follow you on Twitter. You know, I'll promote I'll on YouTube I'll promote, as well. I'll promote this on Twitter and stuff. Oh. You know, I gotta. I, oh, I don't know if you I know what, you on Twitter. Victor? I gotta find you then. Yeah, uh, I gotta find it's you. It's cynical. Twitter. It's cynical sensibly on Twitter. Okay. Because someone you. took, someone had sensibly cynical. That's like what the fuck. That's crazy. Have you looked and this into this? Was that? like in, this was in like 2017. What buy it from them? No, no. Have you just looked into what they are? Is it, is it a <laughs> podcast though? Victor, you want me to buy it from them? No, 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 no. What I mean, are they a podcast too? Do they? I don't they, know. Some, that's what I meant. Like, did you look in to see what they were? Was it a podcast? Oh, just some idiot no, with a name. Know. Some some random some random name. But no, so I had to do I had to do cynical I had to do cynical sensibly. Like cynical yeah, first. It works, man. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> all but uh, cynical sensibly doesn't roll off the tongue as much. No, no. You, I <laughs> practiced a little bit today. I ain't going to lie. I was like, cynical, <laughs> cynical. So I didn't want to mess it up and shit. So, yeah, that's funny. But that's, I like the name. I like that. I have another cool. podcast that I'm cool with that. They have a, they're, uh, they have cynical in their name, too. Um, you don't see it that often, but it, it, it's, oh. it adds to the name, though. It has a little, little punch to the name. Actually. I'll give a shout out to this podcast I had on. Um, they they all came on my podcast. Um, you, if you're gonna listen to, I got a good episode for you to listen to. That I think you, I think it's more your speed. I mean, I got a lot of good ones. Obviously, I'm biased, but <laughs> uh, look up sensibly cynical meets arsenic culture. That's O-U-R. that's them. That's my boy. That was my boys right there. You need to listen to that. Those are my guys were, right they, there. No, they were on my show. Oh, no shit. Oh, good. I'm going to hit them up right now when I get done here. We're, I was supposed you to should... exchange beer with them. No, I, listen I... to it. Oh, I'm going to listen to it. it. I'm it's, definitely going to listen to it. It's really good. It's like one of my best downloads. Oh, I'm definitely going to check it out. Now, those are my guys. <laughs> I'm, in a, I'm, a... In a chat. I'm in a group chat with them. You, you should be like, guess what podcast? Oh, they'll know me. You oh, I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them. You should be sure. like, guess what Guess what podcast I was on. <laughs> I'm going to send them a picture right now, actually. That's oh. I'll be like, look who's on the look who's on my screen, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's I, that's what I was talking about the, the yeah the, with the name, and I'm like, okay, look, you had them on your show. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm cool with those guys. I've had yeah, uh, they talk, like my I've stuff all them. the time and shit. I think that's how I found you was through them. Cause yeah, well, I follow them and a couple other ones. We're in like a group chat, but they're the most consistent people that I've dealt with. Like I said, we're gonna do a beer. Um, a male beer return. I haven't sent them anything yet. They haven't said we got to get that on point. I want to. <laughs> that's all they do is they drink. Yeah, this, this was cool, good. man. Yeah, I really and, appreciate um, this. Everyone, please, uh, you know, subscribe to Sensibly Cynical. Subscribe to My One Cent Podcast. And please. that's it. Everyone, Thanks. please stay safe and take care. That's my moniker. <laughs> well, that's your. That's your out. Uh, mine is uh, Baya con Dios because I do a little uh, point break. At the end, when he when he was about to arrest him, but I, so he he but says I, the same um, right. It's hilarious. I started at like pandemic, but I but I you know stay safe and take care. I, but that but I've but I've paused after and so I was like, please stay safe and take care. Gotcha. All right, see what you. I'm gonna let you do your out. I messed up your out there, man. I'm sorry, but you got All me right. into. I feel like for, I'm doing my own, and I'm. For Vic from the the my one cent podcast, Sean sensibly cynical. Please stay safe and take care.